Okay, so here we are back inside, and as you see, I got the the cell phone app pulled up, and uh, this is a screen that'll 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 come up once you launch launch the app, and it's discovered my device, so I'm just gonna click on it, and then that brings up the uh, status of your of your bank. Now the uh, the Thorn Wave does have a uh, internal shunt that you can uh, hook up to but it's only uh, rated at 60 amps if you go beyond that you will blow it up so I would recommend that you use a external shunt and uh, the nice thing about this is you can calibrate that you can uh, go in here and then you calibrate your current to whatever the actual is so you'll need a meter to do that Um, so let's go into, oh, let's do, do something real quick. Um, let's say you wanted to turn the, the generator on remotely. You can do that here. You simply turn the power off. Okay, now when you turn this back on, um, basically we just reset the signal, and now my controller just put the controls into float mode. So it's going to run for the duration of your float mode. So if I go up to the controller and I turn that off, that'll kill the generator. So it's basically back into uh, standby mode, um, waiting for our, our trip. Or, uh, okay, um, so you go into configuration, uh, trigger on relay, make sure that that's um, on, and then here's our low voltage um, trip points. So with my system, it's a 12 volt system, so my low voltage uh, trigger is uh, 10.6 and then my upper is 14.5 that's when uh, the power max will go into um, its float mode and then that that drops down to 13.6 volts so you want to be just below that um, to make sure that you're gonna meet meet that otherwise uh, if it if you have it set too high and then it'll and then the charger goes into its float mode it'll never reach your your high trip point so it's uh it's important that you uh have that set up correctly and then once you have your settings saved just hit save and then here you can duplicate that um those numbers put them in here hit okay and then when those trip points are uh are met this will highlight in red um showing alerting you that um, those trip, boy, trip points have been been met. Um, so that's basically it. Um, as far as the app goes, it's pretty cool to be able to monitor your, your system remotely like this. And this is a Bluetooth app. It's not a not web based. So if you're out in the woods or whatever, you don't have to rely on a cell cell phone signal. Um, so it looks like my battery on the cell phone's getting down, so I guess we'll conclude that part of it. Alright, so the next part is we'll go over the controls here. Alright, so as you can see I got a, a button here. This is another way to uh, manually start the, the generator. So I'm going to turn the float mode up a little bit. So my start duration is little high. Alright, so if I turn the float mode off, that should kill it. So so now, w the way I have the setup, if I were to hit this again, it'll, it'll just shut right back off. Like. Okay, so this is a good way to, to, to get the, uh, the starter system set up. So as you know, the, my first attempt there, the starter wound a little bit too long, so I turned it down just a little bit. So 
so it had a mess fire. So it's not too bad. Alright now, like let's say uh, it misfired um, from the controls. If that in, in that event, you can just come over and, and hit that button. Um, like I said earlier in the uh, um, previous um, portion of this, is uh, this doesn't have uh, automatic attempts. Um, that may come later, but I have to figure out how to how to detect when the uh, the generator is running, and uh, that's uh, a, a bit difficult to do. Um, but I think uh, once you have this set up, you won't have any too many issues. Once in a while, you might uh, encounter a misfire or something. But uh, but again, this this one here is your your choke position. So with this turn fully counterclockwise the uh, choke will be left fully open so like in summer months you may not even need to choke the generator so you turn that all the way down and then your your duration that you could even um, shorten that um, winter months you may need to uh, lengthen your duration and of course go full full choke and then uh and then here is your your full charge mode and that like i said that'll go up to uh an hour and a half um and uh, if upon request, if you want a longer uh, float mode run duration, um, I can certainly uh, uh, change that in the code. Um, but I think an hour and a half is plenty. So that's basically it. Um, so this is a pretty cool little setup. Um, it's been really nice. Uh, running on that that older system this will be a lot nicer now they have a little better control over the the generator and then of course this uh the cell phone cell phone app is really nice <clears throat> so uh so i guess i'll conclude this video and uh you know thanks for watching